Hey guys, Honestum23 here, and today I'm going to show you how I set up my capture card. Um, a lot of people commented asking me about it, so I thought I might as well just show you um, actually how I do it. So it's pretty simple actually. This is how I do it. There's other ways you can set up your capture card, but this is the way I personally do it. So, of course, first of all, we have the capture card itself, which is actually over here. So there we go, that's the actual capture card. Uh, take out all this stuff actually. So yeah, of course you're going to need one of these. Um, let's have a get my stuff from my TV. You're going to need... Oh, the way I do it anyway, there are slightly other ways you can do this. Um, this, uh, as you can see, it's just a kind of like a splitter for AVA. And you've got the things on the bottom there. And also a wire like this which here's the other end of it so you need a wire like this and also, also you need the actual proper come on yeah you, you need this as well you need this sort of you know just a standard red white and yellow output for whatever console you're recording on uh, I don't have a PlayStation 3 I only have a Wii here and 360 and I'm gonna show you how to do it for the 360 right so first of all you get ugh, get your wire here. Sorry I'm not too great at this, but uh, yeah you get your standard wire here, you plug that into one of these. This is the 360 wire by the way, so so yeah of course you you know you should know how to you know plug it in like you usually would. Uh don't use HDMI or anything else. Um I guess if you know what you're doing you probably could. Um take yeah I'm taking out my HDMI and wow this is a kind of a mess over here. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with my 360 and yeah making sure I've got the standard definition one in and then using this plug this into that like come on I hate these things they never go in when you want them to come on go in there we go and this is like super cheap by the way all the stuff you need to record is super cheap the most expensive part is the actual uh, capture card itself so then you just plug this in like you normally would if you're just plugging in an AVI thing. So like so it on my TV it kind of does actually fall down a bit but it does still actually record. I don't know how well we can see that but yeah it's plugged in and it's down a bit but it's okay. Um actually before plugging in you need to make sure you have this in the bottom of it so I'm going to have to take that out embarrassingly. So yeah, this one's actually black but black just goes into white. And also make sure you have it switched on in there we go not out that's not that confusing because you can just hit the switch after it doesn't work but yeah so now you plug it in get in there there we go right and then with this end you plug it into the capture card because what's that what's that that's kind of splitting it so so the, what that little splitter kind of thing does is output it to the TV but also outputs it to whatever cable you plug in so now I actually have the capture card, of course, you just plug it in. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to jump to actually recording. Okay, so now that you have that all set up, you go on Power Director, right here. This will come up, make sure your 360 is on. Um, and then go on to Capture. It'll load up. It'll probably load up your webcam first, it seems like that's the default one. But click on this symbol up here. And there you go, there's your 360 logo, and that's all well and good. Um, the big thing about this, maybe you'll hear some like weird noise coming through, something like that. Um, so, go on Profile. Uh, the default one will actually DVHQ. Uh, it's not the one I use, I just can't use it. it. It seems to mess up the recording, it seems to add lines on the screen, so I can't use that personally. So go to custom, make your own custom one by going to new uh, I use custom profile free but I don't really know what's in it um, if you want to just use what I, this is all my settings, actually no that's not my settings, I usually use this so these are my settings if you want to mess around with the settings and change them uh, yeah there we go that's that's the big thing or you will get lines in the screen so it'll come up just hit record and after you record go to edit and then um, there, there we go that's the uh, little video I recorded before this, then go on to produce and produce your clip. Um, now I always use AVI, it produces really big file 
like sizes, like a stupid amount of gigabytes. But it's worth it, really. You just have to then delete the raw footage afterwards, go on to next, produce it. That's all well and good now. I use Camtasia, this program here, and then what I do, I produce it in widescreen to get it in widescreen, because you notice all the way along this, it's not widescreen. Um, that's the easiest way i found to do it. On Movie Maker, I haven't had any luck actually stretching it. I'm not 100% sure how to do that, I'm afraid. But, yeah, so if you're willing to buy Camtasia or steal it, if you like, then you can just produce it. Um, okay, I don't have any media to show that off, but, yeah, produce it and just make sure the dimensions are in widescreen and it'll stretch it for you. Now, that's all well and good, but... If you want to say not spend the money on Camtasia, go on. T what you do is you go to. What's I guess I have to. Um, new window, please. So yeah, just upload the video normally in not widescreen. Um, you can edit it all you like. I have no idea what's what is it doing. Right, yeah, you can edit it all you like. You know, you can edit. Yeah, you can edit it using uh, Movie Maker. Just just as fine as Camtasia so you can do everything you want to do with the audio and adding in stuff and then but when you go onto a video there's a little trick you can do to make it widescreen now I'm actually going to use an example because uh, I can't quite remember how to do it right hold on give me a second here guys okay so you go onto your video click on edit I'm just using my old um, Pokemon Pearl video uh, as you can see that that's clearly not in widescreen. So what you do, you type in yt stretch. I'm gonna this this down here. Yt yt YouTube um, colon stretch equals sixteen colon nine. So that YouTube will actually stretch it for you, and you don't have to use any fancy programs. And you can see here it's not in widescreen. It it just clearly isn't. But if we actually go back, because I type that in, I then go onto the video and. Uh, whoop de doo look, it's in widescreen, it's been stretched, that's fantastic. So, that works on any video. So that's what I recommend doing. It stretches fine. It looked a bit weird there, but that's just because the Pokemon Pearl isn't supposed to be in widescreen. So that's the easiest way i found to do it. The quality of the videos are decent. You can't record in HD, I'm afraid. If you've got any other questions about this, feel free to leave a comment. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be on some 23. If you like this video, then give it a like or leave a comment for any questions. And you can check out my other videos because I make Let's Plays. That's what I do normally. So, yeah, I hope this helped, guys.